Okay, you guys, so welcome back to my channel, and I can't believe we're already in July. Like, the first half of this year totally flew by, and we're in July. So I figured it would be a perfect time to do my half mid-year empties video. So if you guys want to see the stuff that I like, the stuff that I love, the stuff that I hated, the stuff that's old and I had to throw out, then just keep on watching. So I have this huge, well not huge, but you know, the medium size Sephora bag filled with stuff. Uh, filled with makeup basically, and I think maybe some skincare. Um, so let me, I'm just going to start pulling stuff out. Um, so I went through like a, a phase of like emptying, you know, I was like on a no buy. So I was trying to use everything that I had until I didn't have any more of that product so I can buy some more. So I went through a lot of setting sprays. Um, the L'Oreal Infallible one is a pretty good but expensive drugstore one. Um, I bought it when it first came out. I did like it. I think it did its job. Um, the Hard Candy one, I don't really... It probably won't ever repurchase it. It smelled pretty good. It smelled like um, cucumber. And we all know Fix Plus. I'm going to keep this though and trade it in so this will not be going in the trash. Um, I have a lot of foundations. Alright, so before my SD card decided to tell me it was full, I think I was talking about foundations. Um, this foundation, which was the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous. I really, really love this foundation. It was just really, really old and it's drugstore, so I just decided to buy a new one. Um, and I used the color 842. Now, this one I had in my collection, and for some reason, I never, I don't know, like, I didn't want to throw it out, but I knew it was time to let it go. And I'm talking about the original Makeup Forever HD Foundation. There's still some in here, but we all know it's old. Really, 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 really old. I never tried, and probably won't ever try the new formula, um... But I love this foundation. Love the formula. Another foundation that I have sitting on top is the L'Oreal Total Coverage Foundation. Um, this was the wrong shade. And <laughs> this foundation on dry skin is possibly close to being the worst foundation out there. Um, it picked up every single dry spot, dry patch imaginable, and I have my Jordana 2-in-1 foundation, which is total coverage foundation and concealer, which is also like a full coverage, and it does not dry out my skin at all. Um, I'm, I will be talking about foundations for dry skin. I think it's really important to know what foundations work, at least for me, what full coverage foundations work for me and which ones don't. Um, this one definitely did not. Maybe, um, I do have it in the shade that is right for me. I can mix it with a, like a dewier, dewier foundation. Um, if I do it like, kind of like spot concealing, um, but I can't do this all over the face. It's a, it's a huge no for me. Um, the next thing that I have on here, which is insane that I put this in here already, and I'm talking about the Ordinary. This is the Matrixel Oil. Um, I basically use this every single day, and I went through it. I'm currently on my second bottle right now. I love The Ordinary. I'm really excited for them to come out with foundations that are going to be available in the U.S. They are available in the U.K. already, just not stateside. So I'm really, really looking forward to those. Um, if you guys don't know anything about The Ordinary, there are some beauty bloggers that have talked about them. Stephanie Nicole, Wayne Goss. Um, I'll see if I can find their videos and leave them down below if you guys want to check them out. This skincare line has definitely, definitely changed my skincare routine completely. Um, so yeah. So I have a couple pressed powders. Um, the Wet n Wild has become one of my favorite next to the Rimmel one. Uh, 
they're my favorite drugstore found um, foundations. They're some of my favorite drugstore pressed powders. Um, and the fact that you can find both of these for under five dollars is amazing. The Wet n Wild one is my jam, though. Like legit, this whole collection, the Photo Finish co Photo Focus collection, is amazing. Um, there's so much dust in here. My jam. There are a few more foundations in here. I'm sure there are more, but I did a purge the other day, and it was just time to let a lot of this stuff go. This is the uh, Maybelline, what is this, Fit Me Foundation. I put a pump from MAC Cosmetics on top because I hate pouring out foundations. I feel like it's such a waste. I really like this foundation, as well as the Fit Me Pour what is it, the map and poreless one, um, but it's just really old, so it was time. This is another horrible, horrible, horrible foundation for dry skin. My dry skin ladies. No. This is the Tarte Amazonian Full Coverage Foundation. I love Tarte. Um, it's probably my, one of my favorite brands for the old mascara. This is my, definitely in my top five mascaras, but this foundation, no, for dry skin. Um, another foundation that I absolutely hated was the Revlon. This was too pink for me, not my shade, not my color, and I just, I didn't, I don't like the coverage that it gives me. Another foundation that is not good for dry skin. Maybe I should have saved these. I'll save them, I'll include them in my foundation video for dry skin girls, but this is another one that just, Clung on to clung on is that a word? Clinged? No, whatever. It stuck to all my dry patches. It was just a big, a big no for me. So I'll put these aside, and we will revisit those in a later video. Now, foundations that I do love. See, like this foundation from Tarte is also my jam. This is the. Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. Oh, I think the dust is coming from the bag. Um, but anyways, the Rainforest, this is my jam. I love this. It feels like water on my skin. If I want kind of like a really easy, not full coverage, I will always, always, always go back to this. I have repurchased this. Um, I just have a lot of foundations that I'm working on currently. So this is in my backup drawer. Another foundation that is in my top five is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Love this. And honestly, I don't find it to be expensive. I think it's like 38 bucks. There are definitely way higher end foundations that are way more expensive. I, I love this foundation. It's so good. Um, there's like also skincare, so like deodorant. Um... I really, really like this Pure Elise Balancing Moisturizer. I'm hoping to get some more at Gem Beauty SF. Let me know if you guys are going. Stop by. Say hello. Um, but I love this. I only had this. I It's really small, and I moisturize multiple times a day when I'm home. Um, I love this. I don't know what else to say. It was just really good. Um... I think there's some in here. No. So I ended up emptying this out and putting it in a different sprayer because this had the worst sprayer ever. It was like a shot of like water and you had to like go in with your beauty blender or sponge and kind of like it, it defeated the purpose. Um, so you guys can see that. I took it out and I was like really curious to see what was on the inside. And look, this is, this is it. So this is... This is where the liquid is. I thought I was, I don't know, like, for some reason I was expecting so much more than that little tube in there. But, whatever, it's e.l.f. Um, I have so much stuff in here that I purged. I'm going to go through it rather quickly. I had some old MAC stuff, which, again, if you guys don't know, you guys can recycle your MAC stuff when you have, I believe, six or nine. Um, don't quote me. Check your local MAC. And you can get either a, lip, a lipstick or, like, a pressed shadow, I think. Um, I also have this, I think it's from, what is this? 
this Urban Decay Lip Primer Potion. I don't even know if they make this anymore. That's how old it is. Um, it was okay. At least I remember it being just like okay. You guys already know one of my favorite drugstore mascaras is the Best Lash Volume Mascara from Jordana. I had just some random nude cold pencils. Lost their caps. Time to go. The Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. This was like my very first like eyebrow pencil stuff that I started using. Um, I think this one is a brow pencil from Maybelline. I actually really like this one. I thought it was pretty good. Um, what else? This little Besame container. Um, it had a yellow powder. Yeah, it had a yellow powder in it. Um, for like correcting the yellow was just way too yellow for my skin tone um but I did use it because I like I like the finishing of it like the actual powder itself not the color so if I'm gonna and it's weird because it says it's translucent but it was definitely a yellow powder which is really weird um have some concealers in here that were just really old the Maybelline Better Than Skin, I really do like this concealer for more of like a natural look. If you're looking for a full coverage and are looking for a drugstore concealer, I have a Fit Me by, what is it, Maybelline? And the Lottie Cosmetics you can find at Ulta. I just did a first impressions on it. I love that concealer. It's only like $7. It's amazing. Um, Maybelline Age Rewind. This one's just really old. I ended up taking off the sponge just because I thought it, it, it got really gross after a while. Um, what else? I have a ton. It's ridiculous how many are in here. There's four. Uh, the e.l.f. Uh, high Def. I wish they made them in a bigger container because this is just wasteful. The under eye setting powder. So what I do is I'll actually buy like three. And I'll use an old container like this and I'll empty them out in here. Um, because I'll use one of these in like two weeks. It'll be gone. So I really, really love this under eye setting powder. It's one of my favorites. Um, you find these anywhere. Target, CVS, everywhere. Sell. Everyone seems to be selling e.l.f. products nowadays. So, and I think for $3, you can't really beat that. I have some really old, I think I only have, no, I have three. I have some really old Kat Von D lipsticks. These are in the original packaging. Um, I thought about keeping them just for the packaging itself, but I don't know. I probably won't. I mean, I obviously, ooh, yeah, no. These are going to go in the trash. Um, and I mean, I did use them. I love Kat Von D products, and I love this packaging. I love this packaging more than the Studded Kiss packaging, to be honest. This has the roses on it. Um, but these are obviously really, really old, so you can't keep makeup forever because it does expire just as much as these Lime Crime ones. I use Lime Crime. I don't really talk about it in videos, but um, the only reason why these are in the bags, same reason, it's just really old. I wasn't using them, and they're too old to give away. So, yeah. So, another thing, let me see. I have the MAC Skin Mineralized Skin Finish in medium. I don't need to talk about it. I really liked it. I just never repurchased it. There's so many more pressed powders that I like nowadays. Um, the, these are eyeliners I don't like. Didn't like. I used because I had them. Um, <clears throat> this one actually I didn't use. Uh, this one is terrible. This is the Maybelline Line Stiletto Liner. It was okay. Had a felt tip. Didn't give me the sharpest line. Wasn't as black. This one, on the other hand, is terrible. This is the Maybelline Precise Curvy Liquid Eyeliner. When I bought it at the time, I thought it was a mascara, and I was very wrong. Um, you guys already know I did a lip swatch video earlier. Um, but 
so as you can see, it does go on pretty dark, but this transfers like a mother effer, you guys. Oh my god, I have never gotten so much transfer from an eyeliner like I have with this one. No. I could go to MAC, recycle, because I have a painterly paint pot and sweet satisfaction, which honestly was my jam. I don't even know if they make this. I don't even know if it's still available. But this eyeshadow, kid you not, I use this every single day. Every day I use this eyeshadow. Um, and I did. I used all of it. So the next thing that I have in here is from NYX. And this is, um, I dropped it. It broke into a million pieces. But I did use it. As you can tell, I did hit pan when it was in here. This is the blush, which I didn't really use as a blush. I used it more as a bronzer um, slash contour color, which reminds me, I should buy another one. So this is in the shade Taupe. Um, this is another spray. It's a primer spray from Physicians Formula. This is the Argan one. Argan oil one. I thought it was going to be really cool, you know, to hydrate me, to have dry skin, but it just left me greasy. It did not let make my foundation apply nicely. It was just no bueno. No. Um, I have a Kat Von D tattoo liner. You guys already know it's my jam. It's my favorite. I repurchased it time and time again. I have a MAC lipstick in here that's hella old, like, fuck, this shit's hella old. It's weird, though, because it still smells good, but it's hella old. This is in the shade, god, what shade is this? Made to, made to something? I don't know, but it's hella old. And then I just have some random things in here, like a nail file. I have a Laura Mercier mini translucent powder. Um, these are really cool if you want to use for travel. Um, I like the like the bigger version of this to travel with. Um, I think this one's just way too small. But again, to each their own. And then I just have some random like little eyeliners in here that again were really really old. So. I hope this inspires you guys to clean out your old makeup. I know it's so hard for us who love makeup to throw it away, to get rid of it, because we just like to hoard all of it. But at the end of the day, I in these last couple of months, I think ever since I watched the documentary Minimalism, if you guys have Netflix, watch it. It's so good. I kind of realized that if I'm not using something, there is no purpose for it being in my life, which goes for many things, but as far as makeup go, um, because I do have a YouTube channel and Instagram and all that jazz, um, I do have a lot of it. Uh, a lot of my makeup, I do end up giving it away to family that I've, you know, I've swatched or I've used once or twice. Um, things like this that are really old, I just get rid of. I throw it away because honestly, like. Even though there's still product in them, they're old. And makeup does expire, so look at your makeup. Look, try and see what you've had. If you can't remember when you bought it, get rid of it. Um, if you have makeup that you don't use that's, you know, that's new, that's pretty new or whatever, I'm sure you have friends, give it away to your mom, your cousin, your aunt, whoever it may be. They deserve love from somebody. So if you guys like this empties video slash mid-year get rid of my shit video, leave a comment down below, give it a thumbs up, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!